Welcome to AM Buffalo and we are not where we normally are. Oh no, we are at the Buffalo Niagara Convention Centre this morning, downtown Buffalo for the 2022 Buffalo Auto Show. It is back. Yes. Woohoo. It's such a good feeling. Of course, it didn't happen last, well it did. It was virtual last year like so many things were. Thanks, pandemic, but it is a good feeling to know that something like this is back. It's on. Good morning. I'm Melanie Camp, and I don't have Emily Lampo with me this morning. She is not here, so it's just me, a bunch of awesome cars. And I, I mean, I'm kind of feeling a little lonely, and I was just thinking that maybe I should just randomly rope in a co host. I don't know. There's like, hi, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm the car guy, I'm the cleaner. You're the cleaner? We're just finishing up cleaning some cars. Are you really? You guys have been hard work. Do you look random car guy who's just been cleaning, cleaning my nails? Cars. I'll wax and go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you like to be my AM Buffalo co host this morning? I don't know how to do this, but I'll try. You just you try your best. <laughs> Come, do you know who he is? Paul Stasiak. He is, of course, the president of the Niagara um, Frontier Auto Dealers Association, or if you want to say it easier. NFADA. I don't know. I kind of muddle up my numbers and my numbers in my life. An outstanding sometimes. job knowing the, the, full name. <laughs> the full name. Believe it or not. This is so cool, Paul. Thanks thanks for joining us. Thanks for being my co host. Thanks for being your first year with us. We've been doing this forever and it's finally good to have you on stage. Oh my gosh, it feels great. I mean, how do you, is it, was it emotional for you when you pulled in the first car a few days ago and started setting up? Yeah, we started moving in Thursday and, and it does. It goes through you. We were the last major, major event here before the pandemic and it, it was emotional for a lot of reasons um, and uh, the auto show just coming back brings vibrancy to Buffalo so that's the coolest part about it. Oh it really does I mean how many days does it take to set it up because this is a big space and I mean we're over like two or how many floors of cars? We, we've got two full floors of cars, f uh, four rooms, breakout rooms, lobbies. Um, I wish it was days. My staff has done an incredible job for months and months. And it's five days of move-in, seven days of move-in, four days of event, and three days of move out. So people think we just pull cars in and put some signs up. I wish they would see the event that occurs from Thursday to Tuesday uh, to get them in and build freight and put balloons and signs and <sighs> video boards and wow. you name it, we do it. Well, you know one thing I noticed, which is so random, but the ca there's carpet everywhere, which some guy was vacuuming before. That's a that's a job. That was me but too. That was you too. You got in there with the vacuum. But you know what I noticed is there's cables under the carpet and power points have like pulled up. And I, the attention to detail and every little thing that you have to think to do to turn this into what is the Buffalo Auto Show. It's a lot of work. Thank you. We try to pay attention to every small minor detail. A lot of it's out of our control because the facility's old. So we work around the old center as best as we can, but we do. We just want to make it comfortable for everybody coming to Buffalo, get out of the cold, you know, get out of the cold weather, enjoy yourself and think spring. Yeah, well, actually, it's really warm in here. It's nice. It's so, so nice. <laughs> and there's some nice cars. That's what, another thing that's hot in here are the cars. What are some of the highlights? Because there are, I mean, okay, wait, can I just say, the Ford Lightning. There's a Ford Lightning here. So if you wanted to check that out, that's here. But there's some other amazing cars. Well, I can go on and on. Let's start. We've got 16 of the hottest electric vehicles. Uh, there'll be 77 new entries coming to dealers this year. And we've, we're lucky. We've got 17 of them in the energy zone, uh, including two brand new BMWs that won't be on the road till July. I4, IX. We got a Mercedes 450. We got a J uh, Jaguar. Uh, I pace coming in, so Ooh. then we got Ferraris and Humvees and Bentleys and Rolls. I want, you know, I've been telling everyone I want a Ferrari, and I know that you're not allowed to do it, but I so want to turn it into a unicorn car. I want to put a little unicorn on the on the prancing horse. <laughs> not on my show, you're not. <laughs> everyone says no. Why does everyone say no to that? I you would be that. a unicorn, no question. <laughs> Could I do it to a Mustang or a Bronco? I, you can do whatever you want, but I, I don't suggest that in Buffalo. <laughs> Someone You'll get was, attention. You'll get attention. Someone might get out a pink spray can and spray and <laughs> spray my car. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Paul! I want you to stick around because I love having you as my co-host this morning. It's been fun. We miss you, Emily Lampa, but this is fun. Um, we've got a few things that we want to find out because, of course, it's four days of the auto show kicking off tomorrow, running through Sunday, and there are some details that you might want to know, like how to get here, what to do, what you need to do. Do you need to bring vaccination cards, masks, all of that sort of stuff? 
So let's find out more about that in just a moment. And um, yeah, talk about some of the other highlights because there are some celebrities that have their cars here. Um, you know, some Buffalo celebrities. So we'll have a chat about that as well. Are you cool to stick around? I'm ready. Hey, you know another thing? Um, I did want to say, if you do want to come to the auto show, we do have tickets to give away. Sorry, sorry, Paul, we're giving away free tickets to some people. So um, I know you want people to buy the tickets, but we got some free ones. Okay? You do have to pay for this facility. <laughs> <laughs> so we're giving away some free ones. That's later on in the show as well. So stick around. We're going to show you more cool car stuff on the way on AM Buffalo Live from the Niagara, the Buffalo Niagara Convention Centre here for the 2022 Buffalo Auto Show. Woohoo! I love it. Great job.